Hey, many of you know by now that I've paused doing live chats for the immediate future. Will I go back to doing them in the future? Maybe one day I will. But right now I'm kind of halting them. Why? Mainly because I feel like I slightly lost control over the live chat. Also, I was neglecting other duties. And number three, I was creating a bit of a burden of duty or obligation upon myself. Let me try and clarify. Go back in time. You know, um, we were starting a YouTube channel. Things were going quite well. We're building our brand. We're getting videos out. We're getting subscribers. People are watching. And in February 2022, uh, one month after I left my 20-year career in the NHS, I decided to do daily live chats. And the daily live chats, Monday to Friday, were great. They were very varied. There was never really a stop time, stop time, a start and stop time. Sometimes they were one hour. Sometimes they were five hours. They were great for community building and networking and connecting with so many of you. And I hope some of you are watching now. I've made some really great friends and people that I know I can reach out to and chat to anytime if I've got a problem or we just want to bat off ideas or even having a rant about something. And the live chats were basically that. They were almost like a way for us to let off steam. So we weren't just talking about WordPress, but it might be about business related issues or how do you handle a problem? or even reviewing someone's website. So it wasn't always just WordPress. Sometimes we try to make it a bit real, a bit of banter, a bit of fun. And it also humanized maybe who I am. You know, it gave you uh, a window into the fact that I can be a little bit eccentric in the way that I am. Uh, and I love doing that. However, I started to lose control. Um, in fact, no, let me do it in the other way order, right? Let's start with item number three, the burden of obligation. I already get tons of emails, notifications, private messages, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, right? Um, there's always something coming in. YouTube comments, right? Believe it or not, we do have to look at the comments and reply to them or not reply to them or at least respond to them in some form or the other. And a majority of them were questions where they want more. Well, how do I do this? How do I do that? We got the Web Squadron Facebook group. There's the Elemental Global group. There was the BRICS group. There was loads of groups and I would drop in and out, okay? Try and do my bit for the community. And there comes a point where you are literally just going from question to question to question, okay? I get give or take about 100 plus every day. So from the point I wake up, there's already emails and notifications and stuff, okay? And I'm not talking spam here, right? And as the day goes on, it builds up. So in the the day I'm hitting nearly 100 a day and it just becomes endless, right? And when you start to say to some people, um, I can't answer these for free, you've got to pay for consultation, you get a bit of heat and aggression come back to you. But that's kind of a side topic, the burden of obligation. Because I already do videos, because we were already doing live chats as well, people feel obligated to ask more of you. And sometimes they, when I say to them, but I'm busy or I got other stuff on, they kind of quite rightly say, really? You got time to do videos. You got time to do live chats. You can't be that busy. I can see what they mean. And it's not true at all because the amount of time we have to spend on research and recording and editing is unbelievable. OK, you just don't realize how much goes in to just a simple five minute video that comes out. And when I say simple, it's because some people think it's simple. It ain't that simple. So there was this burden of obligation that if I ask a question, you're going to get back to me. And because you already give free advice on live chat and during YouTube videos, why won't you reply to my email? And I've had to now start building a bit of a barrier. We have the Web Squadron Facebook group. I will always chip in because it's our group, of course. But when I get private messages that are tagging me in and specifically want me to answer something for them, I've got to now start creating a bit of a distance between me and the fact that I don't have a lot of free time. Believe me, I do not, okay? I am hitting close to 90 hours a week, right? Just, just work that out, okay? Working, editing, recording, client work, agency, bits and pieces here and there. And when you work out the income you make, it ain't great, you're right. Who wants to work 90 hours a week when you kind of look at it and go, well, the amount of income you make actually starts to dilute down. 
So anyway, burden of obligation. The second thing was that I started to feel like I was neglecting my duties a little bit. So you decide you're going to record videos today, right? And it's not easy, okay? I want to make clear, right? This is secondary to the live chat, but it, it connects to the live chat in a moment. I'll drop my son off school. I'll take a long walk to get home because I want to have a bit of walking time and clear my hair head a bit as well. And I am literally psyching myself up. Today, to record this video, I'm psyching myself up. I have to be in the zone. I don't want to have disturbances. I don't want a grotty email. I don't want someone saying, I don't like you or your videos. I don't want a family member telling me about something that I now need to give two shits about. I don't want no distraction. You've got to psych yourself up, right? So you get in, you do your record. And it could even be client. It might be that I've got to work on a client project and I'm now working hard. I've got to psych myself up because there's so many distractions coming in from many areas. And then I'm in the mood, I'm in the flow. Got to do live chat which is why I went from five days a week to one day a week, because all of a sudden I was like, what if I want to go shopping? Oh, no, I've got a live chat. I've got to make sure I'm here for that. Oh, what if you now want to do a recording or maybe there's a new release or there's an issue? Nope, got to wait for the live chat. Got a client, got a meeting. Nope, got to schedule it around my live chats. And that's suddenly what it started to become where I felt like I was now timetabling my scheduling around the live chats. Now, going to one day a week was easier, but still the same thing happened, right? So Wednesday, if I was going to still do them on Wednesdays, Wednesday would come and then I'd be like, right, what can I do in the morning? What is not going to break my flow where if I now start a task and I have a one hour break, I won't be affected by that. And it's not just a one hour live chat. There's the prep time before to make sure your camera, everything is okay. You do the live chat, it might go over an hour. And then there's the getting ready now for what you were going to work on. So there's all these little things at play. The, the, the third thing, which is the first thing that I said where I lost control. And I've taken my time to get to this bit because this is the one I really want to be careful over what I say and how I say it. Because I don't want anyone to be upset, hurt or offended, but it does need to be said. I have had um, in the last, I don't know, uh, seven, eight months, um, and it's become more in the last two months. In fact, the last month, sorry, not two months, because it's now March as I record this, but it was the start of Feb. 16 emails. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I've had emails from 16 different people, okay? And I'm not going to say who said what and which one I agreed with and did not agree with, okay? All I'm going to say, there's 16 different people and there's been various emails. Some sent just one email, some sent multiple emails. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm kind of being guided or told, and none of it was negative, by the way, okay? I want to make that clear. No one was offensive. But they're basically telling me whether what they want me to do and how they want me to cover things. I do some multi live streaming where we've had some guests. Some people like that, some don't. I've covered some topics more than others. Some people like that, some people don't. And I'm not going to go into which topics or which guests or anything like that, okay? I'm not going to do that. Um, some people want me, okay, I'll, I'll talk about page builders. Some people want me to do less elemental, more bricks, or more bricks and less elemental, or whatever the other way around. Why am I not doing Gutenberg? You need to cover this, you need to do that. And all of a sudden, it starts to get to a point where people are now dictating to me what I should do. Now, you are the community. You have helped to build the channel and the brand. OK, I want to be really clear on that. But you don't have any stake or ownership over the resources or the time or the effort. None whatsoever. Just like I won't walk into... Uh, a local subway and say, you need to make your sign brighter. I come in every day to get a chicken ticker foot long baguette with Pepsi Max. I don't, but let's say I did. You need to make your sign brighter. You need to make your fridge 10 centimeters that way. You need to have your tables, you know, and I know that's a rubbish analogy, but it's like, imagine you as a business 
and you're part of a Facebook group or whatever, and all of a sudden people start telling you what to do. Because there's a big difference between advice and then there's another difference between we don't think you should do that, we think you should do this. And I'm telling you, for every email I got where someone said, don't do this, I got another email from someone saying, do this. And I spent many months, right, this is way before Christmas now, going, what do I do? How do I not upset the community? How do I not upset individuals? How do I keep people happy? And that affects me because I'm now feeling like we've got a community and I'm letting people down because I started to do this and some don't like it and I didn't do enough of that and they don't like it. And, and, it, and like you, you, you literally feel like you're not going to win, okay? And I've been in this situation many times before, part of a writer's group, sci-fi group, write, uh, another group. Um, a working group, an analyst group, we could go on and on. And I've always feel like I allow myself to get, um, I don't want to say taken advantage of, but I get, I get to a point where I, am, I succumb to peer pressure because I don't want to upset anyone. But I'm, I will upset someone because I can't satisfy everyone, okay? And I just realized that, I'm not in control of the, the live chats anymore. I don't like, I, I was starting to feel uncomfortable. For the last three or four weeks I did them, I literally was, I was, I was not feeling like excited about doing them. I was literally like, I've got to do it, I'll do it, but my heart's not in it. But I have to do it because I've set a precedent. I've set a trend. I've got to keep doing it. So Due to losing control, in my opinion, over what I want to do and how I want to do things, I've just decided to just pause them for a while. And eventually I might come back to them. And when I do, and if I ever do come back to them, they'll be completely on my terms in terms of what we're going to do and how we do it. And it might be that I go back to how I used to do it, like just me. It's just me and I will set the topic of the day and that's what we're going to talk about. And I'll be very clear that I won't be doing any live website reviews and we won't be doing this. And um, I don't know. It, I don't think I'm ever going to like find the perfect answer. And I don't think I'm ever going to be fully, completely happy. And this video is already longer than it needs to be. This video was meant to only be five bloody minutes. And it's already gone on to like, we're well into like 13, 12, 13 minutes now. Um, so if you're still watching, um, I don't want anyone to worry. I don't want it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I haven't fallen out with anyone at all, but I have decided that I've got to be true to myself over what I want to do and how I want to do it. And um, I can't keep trying to satisfy the world. We're still an agency. We're still building websites. We're still recording videos. I'm still doing stuff. It's just the live chats. I'm just, suspending them for a while so that I can start to dictate what I do and how I do it and when I do it. I don't think any of this video properly makes sense, if I'm honest. I don't. I feel like I'm going to like watch this video back and cringe and maybe never release it. But I do think it needs to get out there because some people have quite nicely contacted me and gone, why are you stopping the live chats? Is everything okay? It's nothing health related. It's not even properly, properly business related, but it is. So I've got a bit of peanut in my mouth. It is a bit of a, um, it is a bit of soul searching, right? Because once you put yourself out there, the world thinks they have some ownership of you because they think, well, they've helped support you. But the reality is, and again, this is going to sound really, really blunt. The reality is, no, you haven't. I've had to do the work and effort, right? Um, you know, um, you, you know, uh, you, you, people get involved, right? People um, are part of the team. Whoops, hit the microphone. People are part of the team, right? Um, 
there are there's going to be um support there's going to be advice there's going to be things that helped your journey but can you imagine i'll end it on this analogy let's say you use twitter and you're always tweeting and there's always someone who a group of people that are always replying and they're always giving advice and they're always doing xyz and then that person who is always like getting the advice does really well they become a superstar does that now mean they owe something to everyone that gave advice because giving advice is one thing doing is another thing there's a clear distinction and a difference okay i can go out there and i can tell someone you got to do this right you got to do this you got to pick yourself up courage wisdom knowledge right innovation you got to do this right social media posting do, 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 do. you got to do all this stuff but when they are successful and they're turning over a million pounds and a million dollars a year i can't go to them and go well i did tell you to do more and look you've done well it doesn't work like that there's a difference between doing so i can advise oh, i don't know where i'm going with this guys i'm going to end it here I think I've I think I've said too much. The live chats are suspended for a while. Okay, one day I will resume them. Um, if people are offended or upset or they decide to unsubscribe or never watch, I won't. You know, I don't want that to happen. I can't blame you if you do. But even though I'm not doing the live chats, that does not stop me doing the videos and stuff that I'm still going to keep doing for as long as I can keep doing it. Um, because I, I love to experiment and engage and provide stuff out there. Um, and the last thing, I, I hate conflict. I despise conflict in like life and work and virtual online. I, I just don't, I just feel like, you know, why do people keep going out looking for fights and stuff? And that is why even when someone has contacted me and basically said they don't like what i'm doing with the live chats or whatever i have never said the words f off even though i'll be honest inside i do feel like that because it's a bit like unless you're running the cameras and paying the bills and help you know you, you don't you, you have no right to get involved quite frankly but again i don't want to offend or anything like that i just don't like conflict but it's it's weighed down on me a lot and I do take things to heart. I really do. And, and uh, there have been times when it's troubled me um, for longer than it should. And that's why I've just decided to, um, yeah, just, just bring it down for a while. Just so that I can basically just take back control. Look, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you're still going to stay subscribed. I hope you're going to still like the video. Um, it's okay to leave comments, whether you agree or disagree. It is actually okay, and it's good to get a varied view. So if people don't like what I said, please feel free to put it down. It's totally okay. Um, but I will keep seeing you because, I don't know, I always do, don't I? Take care, see you soon. Bye.